Game one of the National League Division Series, and we had a ton of upsets last night. Yup, a ton of upsets. So, I know I'm not on my computer screen again. I, I'm probably going to wait till the Championship Series. But we are going to discuss, um, you know, these games. Because all three teams who had won over 100 games lost the game one of the series. Does this mean that they're going to lose the whole thing? Absolutely not. But it is a challenge because now they have to win three games and they can only afford a single loss. Not impossible, but it, gives, it puts all these teams into a, into a safer position um, because, you know, if they split the remaining games, it will go in their favor. So, the first series we're going to talk about will be Rangers versus Orioles. First home postseason game in Baltimore since 2014. And, um, and it was under a rain delay for an hour and 13 minutes as a cold front swept um, through our area. But this is the closest site to actually be affected by the inclement weather. Texas Rangers beat the Baltimore Orioles 3-2. Three 3-2, to two. Three to two, um, the Texas Rangers were able to beat the Baltimore Orioles. Rangers won 90 games. Orioles won 101. So this is an 11-game uh, win difference. That It's going to be tough for the Rangers to overcome. But they did it. You know, the Orioles who have not won a postseason game since the 2014 Divisional Series because they got swept in the Championship Series by the Royals back in 2014, really need to pick it up. When they made a postseason in 2016, it was a wild card loss to the Toronto Blue Jays. So in terms of playoff rounds, this is their farthest round that they made it to since 2014, but they are really looking to win their first series since 2014. And, you know, that would put them in the Championship Series for the first time since 2014, a team that was able to finally celebrate success after multiple years, over a half decade of misery and losing seasons, is now really aiming to have a great postseason, but it's being dented by the Texas Rangers. However, the Rangers have never won the World Series. The Orioles last won it back in 1983. The Rangers got very close in 2011, where, as we know, the Cardinals scored in the bottom of the 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th innings in order to get the win and win the series the next day in St. Louis. And the, what's the team called? Um, and, and the Rangers, they last made a championship series in 2011. 2018 and 2016, they lost in a division round to the Toronto Blue Jays, um, who then lost in a championship round in both years. Of course, the 2016 divisional series was the last time the Blue Jays won a postseason series, or, um, and the 2016 championship series was the last time they won a postseason game, because now it's just been, um, you know, a, a period of, uh, in Blue Jays history where they just keep getting swept in the postseason. It's actually kind of hilarious. Um, and as you can see with the Baltimore Orioles, there's a lot of weakness in the AL East. Now, I'm not saying all hope is over for the Orioles, but Rangers have been on a period of absolute domination. And the Orioles, they might want to rethink their, their approach. Because if the Rangers go up 2-0, it'll be very hard to overcome it. Because then they have to win the next three games. And now, for the only series that actually went the way people expected it to, Twins versus Astros. The Twins are gunning up to make it to the, their first American League Championship Series. Since 2002, after winning their first postseason series since the 2000 Divisionals, when they swept the Blue Jays in the 2023 wild card. 
Of course, it also saw their first postseason win since the 2004 Divisionals, which they ultimately lost that series to the Yankees. Um, Astros, they're aiming to return to the ALCS for the seventh year in a row after shocking everyone by actually winning the AL West title when no one expected them to. Ultimately, the Astros won the World Series last year, and they enter as the defending champions. So, they are attempting to defend their World Series title, and with a 6-4 win over the Twins, so far they've done their job. Um, again, it's going to be hard for the Twins to overcome this. Um, the Astros really are cursed, especially in the divisional round, with how much success they've made. The last time they lost um, a game at, at home in the divisional series was back in 2015 so again we we really see how um how this is going for them it's uh, it's been going very good for them especially in a division round and the twins have so much to overcome they've overcome one curse but the astros are a curse of their own that We'll, we'll likely see them make the championship series again. Now, as far as, you know, it goes with the, um, the Astros, we talked about how they hadn't lost a home game in a division around since 2015. Yeah, if that holds out, then that automatically means even the Twins win both games at home, they still lose the series. Again, I'm not totally going to say it's impossible, but there's just a lot that, you know, the Twins have to overcome if they want to beat the Astros. And if both series continue to go the way that we're going, we're going to see a te an, an all-out Texas State rivalry in the championship series. That would actually be the first time since 2011 that the championship series would consist of two division rivals if um, it comes down to Astros versus Rangers. We have not seen that since the Cardinals versus Brewers in the 2011 championship series, so I think that would be kind of cool to see. Um, and, it, and it'll be the first time in a wild card ever where same division teams could play in a divisional round. It'll be the first time since then that we would see this kind of fierce rivalry in a championship series. Because we haven't seen it in a while, and I'd kind of like to see it again. But <clears throat> it will take a lot to make that happen. <sighs> okay. So now we go into the National League. First, Phillies versus Braves. They literally met last year, and the Braves won game one, and the Phillies won in the final three games to win the series. This could be a reverse. Um, as the Phillies enter in as the defending NL champions who lost in the World Series last year. And the Braves hadn't made a championship series since actually it was 2021, the last time they made it. And they won the World Series that year. So two teams that, pe that uh, people are kind of sick of seeing. I think the Phillies do get a little more support because even though they're defending World Series um, National League champions, that actually was a fresh landscape to see the Phillies in the playoffs. They hadn't made it in a decade before. Um, but this is how those annoying dynasties actually get started. And I would kind of rather not to see it. First time the Braves got shut out at home all season. And again, we could just see the Braves get upset by the Phillies for the second year in a row. Now, Dodgers versus Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks won 11 2. They got six runs in the top of the first inning, and the Dodgers had to remove their pitcher. And the game did not get much better from them from there, as they still got outscored 5 2. Dodgers were shocked last year in the divisional series against the Padres, 
And this could be another series that gets shocked against a divisional opponent who has won who has won 16 games less than them. And the Padres case is actually 22. And now it's 16. So, you know, a high number of games separating the two teams. Yet the Dodgers lose anyway. We could see that. It's not a guarantee. But that was domination for the Diamondbacks. And, the, and every single series in which in the first inning they get out. Um, it, it was the other team scores more than five runs in them. They've lost that series every single time. So this will be the first time in history that we see the Dodgers overcome something like that. Diamondbacks have not made the championship series since 2007, whereas the Dodgers made it in 2021. So I think that we're going to see a lot of support for the Diamondbacks here. Oh, wait, did I say? Yeah, I said 2007 it was the last time the Diamondbacks made it to the championship series. It's... It's been a kind of a long one for them. <sighs>